Can you tell us a little bit about Bedlam? Um, Bedlam centres around um, sort of 20-somethings living in an apartment at the newly converted Bedlam Heights. Um, Bedlam Heights originally was a mental institution run by my character's family. So her grandfather was a sort of seen as a, a scientist or a doctor kind of on the, the front line of, of new technologies and things sort of back in the day. And we sort of flash forward to modern day and Kate and her father have taken on the project of restoring this wonderful old building sort of back to its glory days, but this time as apartments, not, you know, padded cells. <laughs> um, and then, so you can imagine, you know, this massively haunted building with all this kind of interesting dark energy floating around. And uh, myself and Molly and Ryan and uh, Jed, we unleash the sort of um, the dark side, as it were. And then, so it's a sort of uh, teamed with a sort of romance and fun that anyone would have living in an apartment with their, with their sort of best friends. And then on the flip side of that, you've got this kind of, you know, haunting and dark and chilling kind of aspect to the show. So there's a real lovely contrast of, of storylines. What's your character like? Uh, Kate Bettany is um, just quite a trip. She's um, very strong and willful and um, uh, very independent, very fierce, um, sort of quite very competitive, bullshit, in your face. But on, on the, and I think the flip side of that is that she's also very vulnerable, very confused, um, and really quite scared. And um, through the progression of the show, you sort of see why. And so there's someone who has that sort of independent front that they put up can be really quite aggressive, which is really interesting to play, to sort of, um, you know, you just take it there with, with the aggression and her sort of bitchiness, but then immediately redeem yourself and kind of come back round and hope that the audience don't want to shoot you, <laughs> I guess. So, yeah, so she's, she's a really, really interesting, sort of strong, powerful woman to play, but with her, you know, massive moments of vulnerability. And Kate's cousin Jed comes back into her life. What's their relationship like? Their relationship is very strained. It's very interesting. You know, you, you grow up with someone who is being constantly taken away and you're not quite sure why, and then you work out that he's going into, you know mental care and he's in this institution and so it's very I think they both are very kind of they know each other so well because they've come from the same beginnings but he also knows her deepest darkest secrets and she knows his darkest secrets so they're always on very sort of strange grounds and walking on thin ice around each other which makes fantastic tension. Obviously there's a huge amount of supernatural elements to the show. Um, does Kate believe in the supernatural? I don't think she wants to for a second. I mean, she's very realistic, you know, no... I was going to say something else, but no rubbish, you know, no sort of... She's very... sees it how it is, black and white. There's no grey area for Kate. But then as the series progresses, it just comes to the point where she can't ignore it anymore. And it is real. It, this is happening. Does anything supernatural or creepy happen to Kate herself? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, lots. I mean, the show is very much centred around the sort of four individuals and it kicks off, yes. Everyone gets their fair share. <laughs> Do you think it's genuinely scary? I, I think so, actually. I mean, that's all very well saying because you're in it and you want people to watch it, but I gen genuinely think that, the, I mean, the way it's been shot on some of the locations and the, the lighting, you know, it's so... So it's creepy, it's really creepy. And even just when they, you know, you're playing action, there's a million people watching you do the scene, it's, it's scary. And why should people watch the show? I think you should watch it because I really feel like, you know, us Brits are kind of taking on this sort of wave of American shows like Nikita and Gossip Girl and um, Lost and that people are, you know, addicted to. And this kind of age range of sort of 16 to, to 35 who are, Obsessed, and I feel like England. We don't really have. We have shows like that, but not a lot of shows like that. And I feel like we're stepping it up a bit. And I think you know, it's, it's support the kind of the British what we're trying to do here. And I think people will really appreciate that and should definitely watch it.